Hey everyone, okay, so I'm going to just share with you um, a few products that I really, really, really do like. Um, because I thought rather than just do loads of them, I'm just going to show you a handful that I think are absolutely excellent. And there are codes and um, thingies in the description bar for you. So the first one is, I'm actually going to talk to you about the Kevin O'Quar Sensual Skin Enhancer. It's a foundation that comes in the tiniest little pot that you, like you can see here. I mean, this thing is tiny, but it contains 18 grams of product, which is a lot. Now, I know this sounds ridiculous because you know when you hear somebody say on like an infomercial or about a product and they go, you just need a tiny bit. And you know, in fact, you need loads, but this really, you just need a tiny bit. Now, I'm just going to show you, you see that on my finger? That will do your whole face, I promise. It's incredibly pigmented. And I'm gonna to talk to you about pigmentation and foundations in another video, but because of the pigmentation in this, it will cover everything. Now you can use this as a foundation all over your face, or you can use it as a concealer. If you're gonna use it as a concealer, this will last you forever. You probably will not need any more. And you will see this in action in an upcoming um, tutorial. The next product that I wanna to talk to you about is by Stageline, and they are little kind of vials like this and inside these are shimmer powders and these can be used on the face and the eyes and they you just give it a little shake and it's got a roller ball on the tip of it and you just roll it over the skin and i don't know if you can see that i'm hoping you can see that they are absolutely amazing these products they look excellent when used as highlighters across the cheekbone and phenomenal on the cupid's bow um, i like these so much that i got all of them and they come in lots of different colors like greens and blues and purples and of course your highlight colors because these are so shimmery the gold looks absolutely phenomenal on deeper skin tones which is wonderful as does the silver the very sort of very sort of light silver color on very pale skin Okay, this is a beauty. This is the Laura Mercier um, Custom Portfolio that is a limited edition and it's a case to carry all your makeup in. It's really big as you can see and it opens up and you've got brushes here, which don't come with it by the way, and you've also got two pouches here for products and one large pouch and one small pouch here for products. What makes this so good other than the size, because granted it's probably not going to be something you are going to put in your handbag, but instead of Velcro, these pouches here are magnetized, which I think is absolutely genius. I think this is amazing. Here in the UK, this is 65 pounds. And I must say a massive thank you to Chris at uh, John Lewis, who's part of the Laura Mercier team. He went above and beyond in order to help me get this. So a massive thank you to you. I really, really appreciated it. And it was nice to meet you. Avon. Have you seen these little retractable pencils from Avon called Glimmer Sticks? And they are the diamond version, these ones. And I'm just gonna draw on my hand for you. And you probably won't be able to see it because of the camera and the lighting, but it doesn't matter because I can see it. And that's all that matters. These are eyeliner pencils that of course you do with your eyes with, but the difference being is that they contain tiny, tiny fragments of glitter or diamond powder and these make the eyes shine. If you are afraid of wearing diamond powders and glitters, this is an excellent, excellent way to break you in because you can line the eyes and it just gives that tiny, tiny hint of this sparkle. Beautiful. So once again, I bought them all. Makeup's really expensive. I mean, it is, but not all things are really expensive. Now, Ben Nye. I've got loads and loads of powders, but they're running out because I use them. I powder everyone with an inch of their life and I love it. So, Ben Nye face powders, translucent face powders come in a whole myriad of different colors. Now, there is, of course, the phenomenal banana powder by Ben Nye. The banana powder has a very yellow, yellow undertone, but it does amazing things for tanned complexions to really brighten up the face. When used under the eye in that Kim Kardashian kind of look, click, you can get the brightest look on your face. So Mediterranean, tanned, and certain ebony skin tones would look great with this. You can also use it on light skin tones too. It's perfectly fine. And this is a lovely, lovely one, which is Coco Tan. And it's got that really, really beautiful, warm, burnt kind of orange undertone to it. So when you have deeper skin tones, you have trouble because 
Products can look ashy, pigmentation, you cover it with foundations, they can go ashy. So you need something to brighten the skin and powders that have a burnt orange undertone like um, Coco Tan and um, Topaz are absolutely excellent because they will brighten the skin, which is what everybody needs. And they go on gorgeous. And another thing, you can use them wet, which I'll show you in another tutorial. Okay, uh, Bedellian brushes. Let me, let me grab them. I got some. You know what I'm like with brushes, you can never have too many. And I'm not a big fan of brushes that really, I prefer to spend money on brushes. I don't mind saving it on makeup, but on brushes I prefer to spend. Um, I have to say these are absolutely excellent, particularly the 957 brush from Bedellium is a flat kabuki style brush. This is the softest, softest brush and will buff in mineral and powder foundations, bronzers on the face, absolutely phenomenal brush as is the um, 935, which is very, very similar to the MAC, kind of very short, stubbly stippling brush. And also, the one I really like as well, is the 960, which is this kind of blusher brush, a little bit big for blushing, for my mind, but beautiful. The eyeshadow brushes are excellent, and one of the better ones is the 780 brush, which is very similar to MAC's pencil brush. These are absolutely excellent, as was the 957 uh, brush. Again, it's that flat kabuki style brush which buffs in kind of mineral foundations so beautifully for the price, you really can't go wrong. Pigmentation in products is again something that I love. So this is why, probably not for the last time, but I'm gonna say it, Mega Petillier eyeshadow palette. This one's in 21. Every color you see here that looks like this, translate to the skin. It doesn't matter if you are the palest or the darkest color, they translate exactly like this without primers. That's why Makeup Atelier, with regards to all their eyeshadows, are absolutely, hands down, the best there is. And last, but not least, and I'm gonna mention it one more time because they did such a beautiful job, and if I could find it, it would help me immensely, which is the Mud Palette. Recently, redone and rejigged, taking out the fragrance and adding more emollient oils to it. This will glide on your face like a second skin and you will want to touch yourself because this is so beautiful, I promise. In fact, I think I might now. This is amazing, I promise you. This is a color corrector palette, as you can see, and this deep, deep orange here is amazing to cover the discoloration around the mouth and eyes you can get with deeper skin tones. And this section along the top here, or the bottom as you're seeing it, are great to neutralize that purple undertone under the eyes. And this section here, much more yellow for redness. There you go, I do truly adore these products. Um, look in the description bar for all your bits and pieces because there are some discounts off certain things. Thanks for watching, much, much appreciated, and I'll see you soon, bye bye.